die. Okay, welcome to Friday Night Virtual Dinner Date. We're gonna continue this until COVID is completely over. And so here we are, February. It started in March, remember? I think I started this in March. I have to figure out. Hey, Jazzy. Cheers, happy Friday, everybody. Here they come. Patty, I'm sorry I always miss you Friday morning. I, I work out on Friday mornings for sure. I try to work out three days a week, definitely in the morning. Hey, Helly. Hi. Cheers. I was really good this week, Helly. Boy, it's not rocket science. You know, you wake up super healthy and feeling like you could take on the world if you haven't had a cocktail the night before. <laughs> really? Huh. Who knew? <laughs> hey, Joni, congratulations on that loaf of bread you made. I saw it. It's pretty amazing. I've never done it. I don't know. I have kind of zero interest in doing it, but I, I admire people that do it. I would eat the whole goddamn loaf. Um, and you know my favorite is rye. Mary. Oh, you guys. Okay, let's start. I've got enough. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Cheers. Happy Friday. I hope your week was good. Last weekend, I took an incredible hike. Um, I shared it with my siblings. I looked at my phone because I always have my phone on me. And it was a hundred floors, a hundred flights, which was amazing. Okay, so I know everyone, you know, with um, January, everyone's trying to be super healthy. At least we're going to start out super healthy. And this week, the farmer's market, the Brussels sprouts were gorgeous. And a lot of the stands had piles and piles of Brussels sprouts. So I bought a whole bunch of them. I don't know, I decided to experiment. And I decided to make a cold Brussels sprout salad. Have you, I'm sure, if I'm at a restaurant and they offer this, I often get it. Um, it's, it's a little time consuming. I don't have a mandolin. You guys know, if you've been following me, I have a small kitchen. Um, just slice it. You don't have, you don't really need all this equipment anyway. But I, I thought I'd show you in case you haven't worked with Brussels sprouts. Do you guys know what to do? I don't know if you do or not. Some of you are more experienced than others. In that outfit. In that outfit, yes, I go to the farmer's market in, in lace. <laughs> um, I'm usually in jeans and sneakers and a t-shirt, that's my uniform. So Brussels sprouts. Have you ever seen Brussels sprouts when it comes actually on the stalk? They're so fresh and amazing and you just take it off the stalk. Um, you, want to cut the, a, a really good part of the end off, a fair amount, and then peel a couple of the layers off. And then just, I cut it in half and then I slice it then for this particular salad. It's, it's not rocket science. I added my own vinaigrette. Do you guys make your own vinaigrette? My sons grew up with only homemade vinaigrette. Never had them. Isn't that interesting? Our moms only made string beans. <laughs> The first time I saw a, a Brussels sprout was when I was married um, and driving from New York City to Long Island in those days you'd see farmers with their trucks on the side of the road and just selling what they grew you know even now now out in Long Island the farmers markets are different you know they, they bring in things it's not just what the farmer um, grows so anyway, yeah, they're really good for you. Um, and especially raw salad, so it's not cooked, so you're getting all the vitamins. Vinaigrette, who makes their own vinaigrette? My sons were raised on, oh, I, I rarely bought salad dressing. Once in a while they'd ask for um, ranch and I'd buy them ranch. And then sometimes on our way to this summer house, actually we'd pass a Greek restaurant, we'd buy their um, Greek salad dressing. Um, and, and canned corn. <laughs> Helly, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did. Creamed corn. Remember, it was creamed corn. That was absolute shit. Our moms only made... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Who makes their own salad dressing? You can use red wine vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar. You can use balsamic. Um, for this, it's kind of nice if you have it. Sherry vinegar is even lovely for this. 
Um, I do two to one. So if I do two tablespoons of vinegar, I do one tablespoon of oil. Um, if you've been following me, I'm on, I'm, I'm really into walnut oil right now. For salads, not so much for cooking. Walnut oil, gorgeous. I always add a little bit of Dijon mustard, uh, a squeeze of half of a lemon, and who else is out there that uh, makes their own salad dressing? And then, you know what I love? I didn't, I didn't put it in here, but I'm going to. Honey, just a drop of honey in a lemon uh, Dijon vinaigrette is absolutely gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna add it. This is from Malibu. This is like literally from up the street. Oh, I'm crazy about honey. You ever go on those vacations as a vinegar? Anyway, try to, try to get really high quality um, honey. Oh, I love honey. All right. Um, I don't know if you saw the recipe. Yeah, the recipe, I said a pound of um, Brussels sprouts. Mm. That makes about four cups sliced. But I didn't, you know, this, it, you know, I live alone, so, and I don't want the, too much vinegar on there overnight, like whatever I don't eat. So this is just half. And then that's it. Then, then, then you have fun with it, right? Then, um, if you can find dried uh, dark cherries, buy them. They're really good for you. Uh, last week I found them, I finished them. Hey Eric, hi honey. Never heard of it? Never heard of what, dark cherries? Sure you did. Um, dried cranberries, add those. I, so this is what I add to my breakfast most of the time. I just add stuff, my yogurt or um, oats. Uh, sunflower seeds, I'm gonna put some of those on. And then I toasted some nuts. You guys, it's so easy to toast your own nuts, right? <laughs> and it's a wonderful snack and it enhances the flavor. And I thought I'd leave them in the pan so that I could show you. Use a dark bottom pan, get the pan hot. I use a variety, um, pecans, walnuts. Joni, you mentioned hazelnuts. I found them and I bought them. Pretty dressed, thank you, Kitten. Lisa Harrison, girl from Boston, world-class athlete. Got your package, we'll text you tomorrow. Oh, Eric, you're fantastic, honey. Okay, almonds, this is a whole bunch. Use whatever nut you like. So you get the pot hot, dark bottom, and then you put your nuts on there and then just sort of shake it, stand by because they can burn. And it increases the flavor. Um, and then I just put a whole bunch of nuts on top of this salad. Salt and pepper, that's it. Actually, the salt and pepper in the, um, look at, look at this salad. This is an incredible salad. Walnuts, pecans, hazelnuts, almonds. I made my own almond butter this week. I mean, um, um, no. <laughs> I, I'm really healthy most of the time, but I love my Grey Goose. Hey, Tamara. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, I don't play much tennis anymore. Maybe once a week, here and there. And now I'm so afraid of COVID that I'm not playing with anybody. Hiking's great, walking on the beach is great. I know you guys can ski in the Northeast. I don't have zero interest in that anymore. I broke both my wrists once, snowboarding. Um, that's it. Would you make this? All right, show of hands, who would make this? Doesn't it look amazing? It really is amazing. I'll probably add some more nuts before I, you know, when I go to eat it. Will you make your own vinaigrette? Try this, very healthy. Food for thought. Yeah, perfect timing, six minutes. I don't know. I think, 
you know, with Biden and Kamala and the new year, I think we all thought, oh, 2021 is going to be great. But it's, you know, it's a slow start, right? It's not great right away. I mean, think of a roller coaster, a roller coaster, uh, which I love. You know, it's a slow descent and you get excited, you get excited and then, you know, you reach the top and then it's fantastic because the view is fantastic. That's what I feel like January and February is. It's like, you know, it's gradual. So people are still anxious. I've got, you know, my, uh, I have a trainer and we work out in her garage with the door open. You know, she's a single mom. I mean, I can't imagine. They're just starting to go back to school. So, so anxieties are still high. And you know how I've been saying food is medicine? Every week I talk about food is medicine. I found out, Helly, listen to this. Maybe you know, I didn't know. There are certain foods that are actually helpful to you for anxiety. And so Helly's like, oh, I'm gonna eat Jesse. I, I, I can't read it. So hear this out. Brussels sprouts is one of them. Mangoes, cantaloupe, ginger, and arugula. Just some um, food items that are supposed to be very good for anxieties. So if you're having a rough day or a rough week, go food shopping and buy some of those things. And you know I'm all about being in nature and breath work, okay? And so I'm gonna end on, you know, just the anxiety and breath work. When you're in a situation, and you know it, right? It's coming on. I don't know, unfortunately or fortunately, my the whole family suffers from it, and I don't. I have not figured out why out of six kids, I'm the only one that does it. Um, breath work. So I'm gonna share an exercise that you might find helpful. I do this before I get out of bed each day. Now, <laughs> if I had a man to wake up to, I wouldn't be doing this breath work, I'd be doing different breath work. <laughs> But here's an exercise. I like my music, pretty cool. All right, here's, some, here's just a breath exercise to try when you feel a panic attack coming on, or what I would suggest is you, you do this every morning before you get out of bed, because then if um, a panic attack is coming on, then you just go right into it. All right. So I want to do it with me. Do, do, do it with me. Who's gonna do it with me? Unsubscribe. Uh, come on, you guys. Put your hand on your abdomen and your heart. And you wanna increase your breath here, increase your breath here, and then exhale. Try this, right? So it's, it's inhale, inhale, exhale. Put your tongue Put your tongue at the top of your teeth where it reaches the roof of your mouth. Just lie it there a little lightly, okay? And then do this, I don't know, I want to say 10 times before you get out of bed so you practice with it, right? So watch. Close your eyes. I know my sisters are laughing at me. I was all, they, they called me the space cadet. When I tell you, if you practice this, <laughs> you guys are funny. If you practice this, it's good for your brain, it's good for your lungs, and it's good for your heart and your mind. So practice, practice some breath work. Get your, get mangoes get arugula, get cantaloupe, ginger. I make ginger tea all the time. Um, peel it, fresh ginger, right? Peel it, slice it in water, um, seep it for, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then add a little bit of honey and lemon. And if you want, a little bit of turmeric. Gorgeous. All right, you guys, I love you. I hope you'll make your, um, I hope you'll buy Brussels sprouts. I did that breath work when I got my COVID vaccine. There you go. And it helped, right? Helly, you need to try this. We love you, Magoo. And yes, you are our space cadet. <laughs> I think that's why I'm, I'm fitting very well out here in California. All right, I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. 
get out in nature, even if it's cold, go for a walk in the snow. Um, I'll see you next Friday. Peace out. Bye.